Okay, so before we go into today's video, <laughs> so. so before we go into today's video, there are two trivia questions. We did a lot of filming in other places and other days. So how many outfits did we have total? And then number Second two. Second one, how many times combined do Daniel and I say so? The word so through the video. Um, go Make ahead. Make sure you watch all the way through. Yeah, there's a lot. And write the answer in the comments. <laughs> yeah, put your answers down below, guys. See ya. So I would say for uh, noticeable differences, this was one that was like one of the most noticeable differences that I've noticed in probably Daniel. And this was like one of the biggest reasons why we moved to the country was just because yeah. they're so much more like family focused. Um, but even from like day one going into the shopping centers here, they have something called a mother's room and you can watch the clip here. But it's a whole separate room, like just for mothers and young children. So in that room, they and husbands too. They can, husbands, it's family. Too, yeah, it's family a family room. room. Um, so they have like uh, two separate enclosed areas for breastfeeding. Um, they have a whole separate like section of toilets. They have like a big toilet and then a little kids' toilet. Um, they have a little play area in there. Two so two changing changing tables. tables. So I mean, every TV every too, TV kids, everything yeah. is just designed around like how are we going to make this easy for families how are we going to make this easy for kids and like it, i don't know like along it, with this the malls we've gone to and the plazas they all have a playground for kids multiple every multiple single playgrounds one and they're all nice and they're well kept and they're mm -hmm. maintained and they're safe like they're padded and everything and in, in the food courts there's always high chairs yep um all of the carts have like three different options for like putting your kids in like if they're little to lay down or sit up yeah every everything in this country is really just geared towards small children, families family and making sure that you're comfortable and taken care of so yep. it's been a breath of fresh air since that's why we moved here <laughs> yep okay guys so the thing that we're used to in the united states is having a plug that looks kind of like this okay it's two-pronged this is just an iphone brick to the cable um when you come here to New Zealand, this doesn't work. You need to buy these, which are adapters. Okay, it's a three prong and it looks like that. This prong, we brought this from the US and it just helps you plug straight in because when you try to plug this in to this, they don't line up. So you can't just, you gotta have this, which is a three prong like I mentioned and it goes right in. And then you've got your original ones that you were used to in the United States. Plug it straight in there. Problem is, do you see how far out it sticks? Not only that, but every single one of these outlets requires you to flip this switch. It turns that outlet on. If you don't turn that outlet on, no power comes through this, which is good and bad. Good if you have small children that you don't want touching it. Bad if you get annoyed by it. Um, and you can also buy bricks here like this, but they're 35 bucks a piece. So definitely bring these when you can. So another noticeable difference um, talking here is about like the money and then yep. the way you transfer money or pay people. Um, a lot I'm, easier. Do you want to talk about the money first and then I'll talk about yeah, the transfers? Yeah, the money looks very different and there'll be a picture of all of the different uh, notes, but they're beautiful. They're pretty. We got like purple and then some other colors. I think there's blue. So um, just looking at appearance only, it's very nice. Like we've always talked about, money exchange rate is different. So things are, they seem more expensive here, but compared to like United States dollars, they're cheaper. Um, it just depends on where you come from. But other than that. We kind of struggled in the beginning. Like we were purchasing things and we were like, okay, this seems expensive. But in the United States, it only costs this much. So we like tried to make it seem more reasonable. But then we had to keep telling ourselves, well, we're not in the United States anymore. Like we're getting paid New Zealand money. So yeah. we have to stop kind of being like, oh, well, in America, it's this. But in regards to the bank, we have through A and Z is mm -hmm. what it's called. And that. yeah, and I'll do a separate video sometime. On, I know someone had mentioned like, how do you set up a international bank account? And I'll talk about that in a later time. Um, but something really cool here. So like in the United States, if you purchase something off like a uh, marketplace or Facebook marketplace. Face Facebook marketplace, anything like that, a lot of people use like Venmo or Cash App. Yeah. So that's like sending money through an app. Mm -hmm. Here, you don't have those things. You just have like regular break bank transfer. So for instance, um, we purchased a, a TV stand online. Yep. 
So what, or through marketplace. So what happens is they literally, the person that we're purchasing it from literally just sends me their bank account number and their name. And of course how much it is. And I go right on my app and we'll show this through the video as well. Go right on my app. I type in their name, how much money I'm sending them and then their account number and it goes straight to their account. So that's a little bit different in the United yeah. States. You really don't get out your account number because you're scared of like it getting People scammed or taken away yeah. but much yeah. easier much much easier so another noticeable difference in new zealand is their coffee um so first of all i've never seen an iced coffee so if you're in new zealand and you know where to get iced coffee let me know because i used to drink that all the time um but this is a large obviously if you're used to like starbucks in america the ventis or the larges are like this big so big difference um, but biggest noticeable difference is the regular coffee comes with two shots of espresso. Uh, so kind of funny story. First day here, I got a coffee and I didn't specifically tell them only one shot. Like I kind of had remembered someone telling me to, and I was like Jones and off the wall. So I have to, every single time I order coffee now, just tell them single shot of espresso until we're used to it. But these, uh, Kiwis really love their caffeine. You can tell. But yeah. Coffee from Henry and Ted. It's a place right next to our house. We love it. So another noticeable difference, um, this one's really big, so no tipping. So when you go out to eat at a restaurant, let's say you look at the menu, it says uh, Daniel's meal is $25, my meal is $10. Mm -hmm. You know when you check out, you are going to be paying $35. $35. I couldn't remember how much I said yeah. mine was. Um, yep. So it's kind of nice because that GST tax and everything is already included in that price which so is goods you, and services right so you know right away exactly how much you're going to be paying and you don't have to like try and ca calculate like oh i have to tip this person a certain percentage um now remember it's not tax free the tax is included into the prices of everything on your receipt they'll say goods and services taxes and it tells you exactly how much was taken of, of the money that or of the foods you've purchased so it's still but you're still paying it, but it's included in the food. Included already. Just that way, like if we in America, you go to a grocery store and you spend money and it pops up and then it's like another $20, $30 on top of what you already right. spend. So it's nice to be able to, I mean, go to a grocery store here as well and know calculate exactly how much on you're spending. your phone. Like if you are good at budgeting, which we need to work on. Yeah. Um, just if you know, okay, I only have $100 to spend right here. You can literally go from item to item, add it through your phone, and know exactly how much you're going to be spending at the register, which is super nice. Yep. So another big noticeable difference here, especially for us. So if you look up here, this thing is called it's called a heat pump. Um, it has heat and air. So it's only in one room. So there's no central heating. So there's no like vents in the ceilings in all of the rooms. So basically this only will heat or cool like this room and like the living room, excuse all the toys, and then like the kitchen and so on and so forth. So it doesn't really get to um, the other bedrooms. So we, you, to control the heat pump, it's like a uh, little remote. And then you just press start and then it turns it on and you can hit like temperature up, temperature down mode for like heating or cooling. Um, so unfortunately, like since it doesn't heat or cool the other rooms right now when it's winter and it's a little bit colder, you have to have like a plug-in heater in each room as well as a heating blanket. And then during the summer when it's hotter, we're going to have to have fans in each room. Um, so that is a big difference for sure. So the next one we hear a lot about is, uh, lingo. That's a very common difference that we see right away keep in mind sorry to cut you off that new zealand speaks english as well so they we do. didn't think it would be that big of a difference coming to another english-speaking country but so many words are different here yeah so like a couple that i've heard are like keen they're keen to do something <clears throat> or sweet as basically means that all good sounds good um, and then there's mate. People call each other mates all the time. Um, and then you have a couple extra. So most of mine have to do with like baby items because we've been shopping for baby. Um, but so in the United States, they call a stroller, like a stroller here. They call them either like prams or buggies. Um, mm -hmm. they call a crib 
a crib in the United States and here they call it a cot. Um, what were some other ones? Oh, so if you're saying like, do you want to go eat some food? Yep. You would say, do you want to go have some Kai, which is a little bit different. Yeah. Um, I swear there are more. There's a lot. That's just a couple off the top of our heads right now, but that's definitely noticeable. Oh yeah. So we've already talked about our car in another video. If you want to watch it, it'll be right here on the screen for you. But, um, when it comes to driving, it's very, very noticeably different. One, you're on the wrong side of the road. I mean, wrong, opposite. Um, and then whenever you go really fast on the highway, it says 100 kilometers per hour, which is very like three speed or you got three digits. That's really fast. It feels fast. It's not really, though. It's more like 62 miles an hour. Um, going through drive throughs on the opposite side feels weird. And then you got roundabouts everywhere in New Zealand, like everywhere. Um, the other thing that we've seen or we haven't noticed, we haven't seen any stop signs. Um, you're asking how do you stop or yield or anything. Um, they have give way signs or it says it on the ground, give way. That's their way of saying yield before entering into a roundabout or into a street. So just some subtle noticeable differences for us when it comes to driving. Okay, so food. <laughs> and this has been the hardest thing for me. I'm going to say it's only because I'm pregnant. And I'm craving certain things, um, but this has been crazy. So first of all, New Zealand has United States brands like Doritos and then also like Heinz tomato ketchup. We've also had um, the Kraft mac and cheese. And then, of course, we have like Coke. There's a bunch of American brands. But what we've noticed is they taste completely different. And what we've heard is that New Zealand only lets like certain types of foods come into the country. Um, so all of the like horrible, bad processed things for you that are in these American brands in the United States are not allowed in New Zealand. And that is why the food tastes totally different, even though it's the same American brand that you are used to. Um, so another big thing is cheese. Um, so this is cheddar cheese. And what you're used to seeing in America is that cheddar cheese is yellow. If you can see like this cheddar cheese is white. And that is because again, like, Cheese hat uses artificial coloring to make it yellow. Um, so it doesn't have it in the cheese here because it's supposed to be better for you. Um, with that, like the Kraft mac and cheese that we had, that was really different too because it was white um, along of course with it tasting a little bit different. They have different popular food items here. Um, their most popular food or popular cheese is called Edam cheese. It kind of tastes like a Gouda, so just a little bit different. Um, their milk, first of all, it doesn't come in gallons. Of course, this is a three liter and they're called different things. So this one's called standard milk. In the United States, you're used to like 1%, 2% skim milk. I don't really know how this relates. This could be whole milk, which would be really bad for us. Um, but this is the one that we've been drinking here. And then I want to show you guys these because we're planning on making some um, pizzas here. These are like the pepperonis that you can buy to put on pizzas. So really big, not really normal. Um, another big one that's super popular here. I think these are like English muffins. They're crumpets, um, but really, really big in New Zealand. But the biggest and coolest thing about all of these, well, most food items here, um, I guess I can show you the Doritos chips. But in the corner of most items, there's a health star rating, just saying how good or bad it is for you. So zero being the worst for you, five being the best for you. So these chips are a 2.5, so kind of in the middle. Um, like the Edam cheese is another thing that's 2.5. So that's kind of cool just like being able to pick it up and see like how good or bad this is for you. Um, another super short snippet, and we don't have any in here, um, but all of the grocery stores, you like can't use plastic bags there. So you bag your own items just like you would do in like an Aldi in the United States. Um, so just making sure like you have all of your bags packed in the back of your trunk. That way you have them for the store. <laughs> so another noticeable difference. Um, so Americans, 99% of the time we shop from home, from yeah. behind a computer. Absolutely. Um, or phone. Or phone. And we got so used to that. Like we had Amazon Prime. And we'd be like, oh, we ran out of diapers. Like, let's just prime them and they'll be here either like same day or tomorrow. <laughs> so we got so used to those fast shipping times and that is not a thing here no. at all. So that's been really hard for us. 
Like for instance, I've been ordering like a bunch of baby stuff and the ba a bassinet that I ordered took over a month to get here. So that's yeah. like really typical, like things take forever. And it to wasn't get like to. you ordered it from the U S it was in New it Zealand, in New Zealand. And it took a month. So you talk about like mail that we got from families. taking. Oh yeah. My family has sent us a bunch of letters and they keep asking if we received it and we've been here for a month and they sent it before we even left. And we have not, I think I've gotten two in the entire time. And that was just recently. So just, things take forever. Right. Just trying to be patient, patient on items, which we are so we're, good at. Not at all. <laughs> So one of the most noticeable differences here in New Zealand, as you see, we're at a park. Um, they're not actually called parks here in New Zealand. They're called reserves. This one, do you remember what it was called? The Boulevard. The Boulevard Reserve. Um, so what's kind of cool is there's reserves literally at like every corner around a roundabout and all the neighborhoods. I would say within like a five mile radius, there's probably like 10 parks and reserves. So it's awesome. So we can just walk up the street, try out a new reserve. As you can see, Charlotte's favorite thing to do is swing, but yeah. So we hope you enjoyed our some of our noticeable differences between the United States and New Zealand. Um, do you have anything to add? No, uh, just make sure you guys click that subscribe button and like our video and share, the, share our channel. Say bye, Charlotte. Say bye-bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye guys. Thanks.